do something about it. And you can't just implement policies. You can't just say this is the rule. You've got to enforce them. That means somebody might have to suffer consequences. It would be a lot better for a kid to get grounded than to get high blood pressure. I firmly believe that. They'll get over the grounding. They may not get over the high blood pressure. And the enforcement. I'm going to leave here tonight, and I'm going to head back to Minneapolis on 35. And I'm going to set my cruise control at 72. Because the speed limit is 70, and I know I can push it a little bit. And I'll still get passed by a whole lot of people. Because even though the limit, the rule, the law is 70, most people push that. Now, you put a squad car on the side of the road, and we all are going to slow down because of the threat of enforcement. It works. You can put an empty squad car on a ramp, and people will slow down. That's a good idea. It's red as enforcement. So don't be afraid to enforce those policies. They're useless if you don't. And we've got to make these substances less accessible. Anybody of any age can walk into a place that sells these products and buy them and consume them. Your kid walks to school, goes by a convenience store, decides he or she wants a five-hour energy before school, what are you going to do to stop it? So think about what you have to do to change the community norms about that, to make these things less accessible. Because the more accessible something is, the more it's going to get used. And the more something gets used, the more problems people experience. And that's the case for alcohol, it's the case for tobacco, it's the case for caffeine, it's the case for prescription drugs, any number of substances. And these products are incredibly accessible. Incredibly. And finally, let's take a look at the why. Why are people using these things? Why are they medicated? Many times it's because of mental health issues. Oftentimes, especially in the case of caffeine and energy drinks, it's because of weight issues. It may be obesity. It may be other weight-related issues. It may be stress issues. Kids are feeling stress. Adults are feeling stress. They may be feeling stress about performance in the classroom, on the athletic field on the dance floor, whatever the case may be, they may be feeling the stress. And we've got to start addressing those in more healthy and appropriate ways. And not just make it take something and you'll feel better. Because that's the message we've got today. So we need to provide more treatment and therapy for the people that need it. It's a whole lot cheaper than incarceration for a lot of the drugs and substances. We've got to make healthy choices, easier choices for people. Too often, we do not make healthy choices easy ones. You walk into the convenience store, how many healthy beverages can you find? How many, pro, how many items of produce, fresh produce, can you find in a convenience store? How many fattening, high sugar, high salt products can you find? All kinds of them. Those are the easy choices right now. We've got to turn that around. That's going to take some political rule. Last thing. This is my contact information. If anybody wants to contact me with any questions or comments, if you think I'm crazy, let me know. I'll take any kind of feedback. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Take good care of yourselves. I'll stick around if anybody has any questions. I'm, yes, ma'am. Um, I go to a gym here in town, and they support this uh, product called Advocator. It's a line of products, but one of them is an energy. And I don't know much about it. Bought into it, but um, the owner of the club is very, very good. And she's very knowledgeable, but she says nothing that you know, it's not anything bad about it. And it's like, so our energy drinks kind of branching out laterally. Oh, absolutely. I mean, like, you know, what would be in that that would be good for you if it helps you focus? Um, probably caffeine would be my guess. Yeah. They are energy drinks are definitely, I and mean, this is such a big business. And they market it to young people, but that doesn't mean they don't want to sell more product. So they're finding new avenues and fitness groups and clubs, health because, clubs, you know, and things like that. The push for that is um, a lot of people try very hard to get in shape and lose weight, and they just can't. But this product will help you do that. Supposedly. And I have gotten into it because of that. Oh, <laughs> I just think you have to work hard to be healthy and stay in shape. I don't know. But Anybody remember Fanta? I'm sorry, Fanta. Yes, yes. What were you say? No, I mean, I just find it confusing because that's kind of a marketing, like the gym I do go to is much people my age and it's kind of middle-aged people. It's not, I mean, there's young people there, but it's 
So it's kind of interesting to me how that is branching out into other areas. And absolutely, and they're probably making money on supplement too. Um, if you have never done it, go into a supplement store or a natural food store and look at all the bodybuilding products. It's just amazing how many things are out there that are supposed to give you this quick bodybuilding thing. But the reality is, you know, it may be steroids do develop muscle, but when you crash, you really crash badly. So the way to do it, whether it's trying to get fit or lose weight, is the hard way. That's what's going to work. So I mentioned Fanfan a minute ago. It's a combination of two drugs. Some of you may, may remember this about 10 years ago. It was very, very popular. People were dying from taking this drug, but they still wanted to get it because it was going to give them a quick fix and help them lose weight. It's not going well. So, so what you experience is, is pretty typical. They're always looking for new markets and new avenues to sell product. Anything else? <laughs> is there some kind of quota? Um, I don't know if there's a written quota, but generally when there are enough problems with something, the FDA does take action. We see them do it with like hydroxypep products, which is a body a weight a bodybuilding product. Um, they found that hydroxy citric acid actually can cause liver disease and cancer. And so they made them take 14 of those products off the market. So unfortunately, yeah, there's gotta be tragedies before they do something. 